everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you've all had a really good week, enjoyed some sunshine. The sun is not shining at the moment, but it has been this week. Um, so I was inspired to bring you this video this week with the sunshine that we've had and the sunshine that we are due to get. I think it's meant to come back here in Reading anyway, tomorrow, um, which is Saturday when I'm filming, I'm filming this on Friday. So Saturday the 5th. Um, we're having sunshine again. So if you would like to know how I do my beachy waves, because I know a few of you have requested this video, then please keep watching. Just before I get into it actually as well, I would also like to thank you all for your lovely comments on my video last Sunday, which was me going wedding dress shopping. A lot of you wrote lovely comments on um, that video. So I really appreciate it and I am so excited to show you my wedding dress next year, um, obviously after our wedding day, because I don't want Carl to see it and I don't want some of my family members, as I mentioned in my last video, they don't want to see it either um, and want to be surprised too. So yeah, but I cannot wait to be able to show you everything that I, my hair, my makeup, my dress, um, yeah, everything to do with our wedding after our wedding next year. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So this morning I have just washed my hair and I've let it dry naturally. I haven't put a hair dryer over it, I haven't straightened it. This is my hair in its natural form, so it is pretty straight. So first thing I do, really simple, I just have a scrunchie here, you could obviously use any hair tie, and I separate my hair, just grab a bunch of it, because my hair is quite thick, and I don't want to wave it all at the same time and I just pop this bit of hair up out of my way in, it's so high, you can't even fit it in the camera, on my head <laughs> like that. Now the waiver kit that I use is um, from Beauty Works, it's this waiver here and as you can see it's a lovely like blush pink colour which makes it even nicer, I love a, a baby pink and if you can see here the display, so I've plugged it in, I've switched it on at the mains um, and it says off so I can touch it, it's it's not getting warm at all um, so to turn it on it's just got this button here that you hold and you can see the temperature, it says 180 there flashing and then it's got a plus and a minus so I just press up and I do it to 220. So just leave that for a few minutes just to heat up to that temperature. It doesn't take long at all. Um, but what else you get in this kit with the waiver is also this heat protector mat, also in a lovely blush pink. Um, so you can just rest it on there and know that wherever you put it down, it's not gonna burn your carpet or any other surfaces where you might leave your waiver with the temperature quite high. Also within this kit, you get this bag that everything comes in. So basically, um, again, in the lovely blush pink, it says Beauty Works Professional on the front, and then you, it's got Velcro, which makes it really handy for traveling. So when you open it up like that, um, it's got the zip compartment here, which is where I keep the waiver. Um, and also you get, eight of these little clips, which I will show you what I do with those a bit later. And you also get this, it's got my hair in it. <laughs> you also get this um, wide tooth comb, also in baby pink. So that's everything that I got with this waiver kit, which I think is really good because you don't have to then go and buy a specific comb, um, get clips. It all comes in one package and makes it super easy and straightforward um, when it comes to waving your hair. So it's already up to 220 degrees while I was just talking you through the kit, so it didn't take long at all, probably not even a couple of minutes, um, probably about a minute that took. You do have to be careful now because obviously these prongs are going to be really hot. This bit on the end, however, is fine to touch. Now I can start waving my hair. So I have my first section here and it is so simple. All I do is take a section of that hair that I've left down. I take quite a thick section because as you can see it's quite a wide tool, I mean it's the width of my hand, um, so I take quite a thick section, plus I don't want to be here all day, you know me, I like things quick and easy, and then you just press this contraption here down and it separates them, pop your hair in between 
um, the tongs or prongs or whatever you want to call them and then just release this and there's no need to push down because obviously you don't want to do that because this bit is hot um, and then just leave it there for I'd probably say about 10 seconds and then once that bit's done I then move it down to the end of where I did my last one and that is pretty much the gist of it and then I just do that all the way down my hair and there is the first one so then I just work my way around the section of hair that I've left down I also don't as you can see I also don't go really close to the root of my hair I like the first part of my hair to be slightly straight still so it's not crimped literally from the root of my head and also so I don't burn my head as well same again all the way to the end of my hair obviously if you've got shorter hair this will take you a lot less time and you can see that the temperature I've got it at you don't have to leave it on your hair for very long at all and you get the wave effect when I get to halfway across that section of hair where I can't reach anymore from the other side I just flip my hair around and then do it from the other side so I'm just going to do the rest of this section and then I will show you what I do next you You've been hiding in the shadows way too long You always thought Once I finish that section I've done underneath that's all waved I then take out my now wonky bun <laughs> and just let another section of hair down So like my if you've seen how I curl my hair quite similar to how I do that I end up sectioning my hair into about 3 three sections um, and I find that that works quite well for my hair you might find that you can do it in two sections of hair um, but my like I said my hair is quite thick then just do the same again on this lot of hair yeah you better step into the light just give it a try think that it's time you let that spark out you've been hiding in the shadows way too long and with the front bit this is where the clips that i showed you come in so as you can see i'll start my wave from that distance away from the root same process with waving hold it move it down to the end of the last wave all the way to the end of your hair then whilst it's still hot just take these clips um, like I said there's eight of them and then just place them on the indents of some of those waves at the front so I'm gonna put on, so I put one at the top and then just work my way down obviously if you've got shorter hair you could probably put them in each wave and then one at the end there so I just leave them in while that bit of hair cools because obviously this is the part that's gonna frame your face so you want these waves to stay put as long as possible and then I just leave those ones there whilst I do the rest of the final layer of my hair. But there we go I've done all of my hair I've just had a flick round I just check at the end as best I can sometimes I even get Carl to look at the back of my hair and say have I waved it all um, which he always checks for me so yeah just check around the back to make sure I've not left any obvious straight pieces and that's it pretty much done obviously I'm going to take these out I'm just gonna wait for it all to completely cool down um, before I touch it um, and comb through it with the wide tooth comb um, something else I also sometimes like to do is put a little bit of um, oil on my hair so I'll just go and grab that 
just while I'm letting my hair cool down, I'll just tell you about the oil that I'm going to use. So this is the Hair Smooth Radiance Oil by Tropic Skincare obviously and there's so many different ways that you can use this so just on the back it says that you can use it as a hair treatment so you can use it as a hair mask so put three to five pumps on dry or damp hair and then just leave it you could leave it overnight leave it in the evening um, leave it for an hour before you get in the shower whatever you like also says on the back um, that you can use it as a pre-cleanse so smooth liberally onto dry hair before washing to help remove styling residues and nourish your hair you can use it pre-blow dry so apply sparingly to towel dried hair and style as usual or finishing which is what I'm going to use it for on this occasion work into the ends of the hair to smooth and add shine allow time for the oils to absorb and work their magic so there is tamanu oil in this and if you know tropic skincare you know how amazing the tamanu balm is for healing um, and repairing any grazes burns mosquito bites anything really it's a bit of a skin savior well this is the same for your hair and if you use quite a bit of heat on your hair if you dye your hair anything that's going to damage your hair then it is really good for helping things like that to avoid um, getting split ends especially as sometimes over the last year we've had to wait a long time to get our hair cut and get it feeling fresher and healthier and getting those dead ends cut off well this is gonna help prevent that for as long as possible i like to apply this like it says just to sort of the ends of my hair just to nourish it after using quite a bit of heat on my hair so my waves are all cooled down now so i'm just going to take the clips out so now i've removed the clips i'm just going to take the wide tooth comb that comes in this kit um, and just comb through my waves this is why you wait um, for your waves to cool down completely because I think if you do it while your waves are still hot before they've properly set you'll pretty risk combing them all out and you don't want to do that because you just spent time waving it all so yeah just put it through underneath through the whole thing take a couple of pumps of my radiance oil I just massage it into my hands you can't quite see the ends of my hair, but I'm just gonna just run it through quite loosely with my fingers. I go underneath because I tend to get a bit of like dead hair. You know, when you put your hair up on a ponytail, sort of under here, I always get like little wispy bits there. So I put it under there to try and make them a bit healthier. And I also get these bits. Um, so yeah, I'll run it through there a little bit. And there you have it, beachy waves done in about 10-15 minutes. It's so simple to do um, with that waiver and the kit. I think you can buy the waiver by itself. I'll link anything, um, I'll link the waiver that I use in the description box down below. And if they still do the kit, we can get it all together, then I'll link that as well. But yeah, I think you can just get the waiver by itself if you wanted to, if you already had clips and a wide tooth comb and stuff. And this is my go-to hairstyle um, quite a lot when my hair is ready to be washed. I know I said this morning that I have freshly wash washed it, which I have, but this hairstyle is great when you think, I can't be bothered to wash it, it needs a wash. I find that when you do waves, even curls as well, to be honest, on dirty hair, I find that it disguises it a little bit and your hair doesn't necessarily look greasy once. I don't know, it might be, might just be me that thinks that, but I love doing this hairstyle when I feel like my hair needs a wash, but I don't want to wash it <laughs> just yet. There you go, for those asking how I do my beachy waves, there's a quick how-to video um, of how I do it. As you can see, it's super easy, anyone can do it. I don't think I'm very good with hair, I'm pretty basic, I either have it straight, curly, or wavy. I'll link how I do my hair curly in the description description box down below as well if you haven't seen that one yet um, but I don't get too fancy with my hair because I don't have the skills but these are the hairstyles that I like to do when I want to change it up a little bit from just having a ponytail um, or um, just my hair down straight I hope you enjoyed this video those that requested it 
Um, I hope you found it useful. If you have any other questions that I haven't necessarily covered, then pop them in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, let me know if you would like me to bring you any other specific videos, as I know this one was requested following on from how I curled my hair video. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as I bring a new video every Sunday. And we've got some good ones coming up because actually at the next video next Sunday will be a vlog style video because tomorrow in fact I am off to my grandma and granddad's house with a lot of my family we're having a bit of a garden party because the 3rd of June it was my grandma and granddad's 60th wedding anniversary so my grandma is throwing a bit of a party at her house in the garden with a few of my cousins going my Grandma and Granddad are obviously going to be there, and my parents. I think my younger brother is going, and obviously me and Carl are going as well. So that should be a really good video. And then the next day, we're staying overnight at my grandma and granddad's house. And then the following day, we are going to have a proper look around our wedding venue. So I'm really excited to do that because we actually haven't been to look around it since we secured our wedding date. I have been there previously, I have been there before, but obviously not with the view to having our wedding there because I wasn't engaged at the time. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you along on that weekend and um, show you what we get up to. And I think it's a really exciting milestone for my grandparents being married for 60 years. My goodness, I'm gonna have to reach the grand old age of 94 if I'm gonna be married for, for 60 years. Um, so <laughs> it's such an achievement, it's amazing. That's the video you've got to look forward to next week. And following that, actually, I have got some exciting videos planned, but I'm not gonna tell you about them just yet. So yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so that you don't miss when I upload. But it is usually nine o'clock on a Sunday morning. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it to the end, as usual, I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.